Rosoa, a thousand yards apart. On Curacoa, Captain Boutwood can see the Queen Mary, yet neither he nor his navigator appear to know on which leg of her zigzag pattern the Queen Mary is sailing. The 81,000 ton liner now turns onto the right leg of her zigzag, converging on her escort. The Queen Mary is now heading directly towards Curacoa. At this vital moment, Junior Officer Wright is called to the chart room by the captain. Alter course, 131 degrees at 1404. He hands over the watch to Officer Noel Robinson. Crucially, he omits to tell Robinson just how near Curacoa is. In fact, she's closing rapidly. Wright joins the Queen Mary's captain who is estimating their time of arrival in Scotland. Once again, Wright makes no mention how close the Curacoa is. Robinson now has sole charge of the most powerful liner in the world, rapidly approaching a smaller ship that shows no sign of moving out of the way. She's getting close. Port a little. Yes, sir. Port, hard port. Hard port, sir. Good heavens, is she mad? Start with 15! Start with 15! At 12 minutes past two, the gigantic Queen Mary smashes through Curacoa, shearing her in two. You gotta run, grab him! Curacoa's bridge, they are unaware that the ship's stern is already lost to the sea. Stop, stop all engines! Now in a daring dive on the remains of the Curacoa, the expedition aims to shed new light on the warship's last moments. We won't pull on it at all when we go down, it'll just be easy. Yeah. Um, Technical diver Dan Stevenson is joined by a team of British and Irish divers. The wind's going that way, so, so I mean, I, I can put the shot at somewhere in this region. Expecting the larger section to yield clues, the team decides to dive first on the bow. For Dan Stevenson and the others, this is the climax of months of planning. Everybody gets very focused just before the dive. Start to concentrate on their kit. Run through the final instructions. Look, the wind's actually the the wind's coming side. from the northeast, so it's going to be on that bare side. So I hope, I hope we can get a good catch there. The skipper will give a briefing just before we jump in. Tell us which way he thinks the shot line is, and which way it's pointing in, in relation to the wreck. We're in that area. Right, right. Shots going to be on the ball right. side. You know, where there's, well, there's no catches. So... At 122 meters, 400 feet diving is hazardous. Dangerous currents swirl through the cold offshore waters. The divers know if something goes wrong at that depth, rescue is very difficult. On Curacoa, the men know something has gone badly wrong. I've been asleep. I didn't panic at all, strangely enough. Uh, unusual, I suppose, to think from the outside, I say, well, you should have panicked. <laughs> but uh, no, there wasn't time for that, I don't think. Abandon ship! Get your legs checking! Get the bluff! Get all your men off now! There was this terrific bang. 
everything went black. And uh, next thing I remember oh. was I was over the other side of the engine room. Standing at the foot of the ladder and there was somebody's legs in front of me. I, the legs went up and I followed them up. Went from there onto one deck and then up another. And it finished up into a, a little workshop at the top. She's going down! Everybody go! In the galley, ship's cook Paddy Houston feels the impact. who came up with me was there as well, trying to open this door. There wasn't room, so I was sitting there with my legs down the hatchway at the bladder, and the seawater was coming up round my legs. The door, for some reason, flew open. And we just more or less swam out of the door then. Sensitive documents that could aid an enemy are jettisoned. There was Paddy standing there, which is a guardrail. He was petrified because he couldn't swim. Come on, let's go, abandon ship! Abandon ship! I can't, I just can't. Come on, you have to, she's going down! I can't, I can't swim! Come on, do anything, doggy paddle! Come on, we need to! He'd been good pals, and I was, he wouldn't jump. There's no bad. No, I had to go, otherwise I'd have gone with him. The men left on Curacao are now desperately struggling for survival. To escape the chaos, those that can run for their lives. From impact to sinking, the death of the British warship takes a bare six minutes. Dan and his team reflect on their attempt to probe events leading to those final moments. It's always an apprehensive moment as you're waiting for the all clear to jump in. They prepare for their mission with the intensity of astronauts. Everything has a special place for it to be clipped. And the clips have to be in the right orientation so that you can tell just by touch which clip is for what. 